Hey guys, good morning. I just wanted to come on here and share a video with you of my wax empties. So these are empties. Um, these are things that I melted from April 14th until April 31st, which honestly, they're really, I don't have that much. And I'm not sure why. The only thing I can think of is that I was using like bigger bags of things that I just did not finish up. So let's just jump right in and we'll do the clamshells first. So the first thing that I finished up was from Super Tarts and it's Radley, which is pear slices, brown sugar, and chamomile. And it looks like that. And I really like this scent. Yeah, this is really good. Um, would I buy it again? No, because there's other things that I like so much better from Super Tarts, but I'm definitely glad that I tried it. It was strong. I would say the heaviest on um, the brown sugar and the pear slices, which is really a neat combination mixed together, but it was very, very strong. It lasted pretty much the whole day. I put two cubes in each warmer in my kitchen, <clears throat> excuse me, and then the other two in my living room, and I really got melts, you know, I got that all day. I didn't have to change that out. Um, another one from Super Tarts is Krang, which is cotton candy frosting, serendipity, and cucumber melon. I like this one also. Um, definitely heaviest on the cucumber melon and the cotton candy frosting. Not, I didn't really get um, so much serendipity, but it was still really good. I liked it. It was a nice, like, fun scent. Let's see if I have any more Super Tarts. No, I don't think so. So the next ones are Retail from Sensationals and Better Homes. So the two from Better Homes I have are a Better Homes and Gardens Holiday Edition Caramel Sugared Fig. I loved this. This was so good. Um, not so much like sugared, I don't want to say, but kind of like a light perfume scent. But again, I really surprised me how much I liked this. Um, I will definitely pick this up again next year if they offer it for Christmas time because that, I I loved it. Super strong, just a really nice different kind of scent. Another one from Better Homes is Iced Winter Cranberry, which this has always been a favorite of mine, but now I can honestly say that I have overused it so much that I am actually sick of it. Um, the last two cubes that I melted I was glad when it was done. Um, it is a great scent, but I'm telling you, I just, I melted this so, oh my gosh, so, so much. But again, strong and like very holiday-esque. So um, I'm hoping by the time the holidays come around again, I will want to melt it and I'll pick it up again. Um, from Sensationals, I melted Girlfriend Night and it says Bubbly, Bubbly Berry Bliss. This I loved. This was really good and I can't describe it. It was like a fruity perfume scent, not super strong, but enough. I don't think, like when you smell this on cold, it's super, super strong that you wouldn't want that scent to be that strong when it's melting, if that makes any sense. But I really liked this and it's limited edition. Um, I haven't been to Walmart in a while, so I don't even know if that's something that you can still get, but I did enjoy it and I'm really glad that I tried it. Another one from Sensationals is Country Living, and it's Fresh Air and Orchard Apples, and that's exactly what it is. Exactly what the picture shows. It is green apples. It's really nice. I love apple scents all year round. This was really good. Very strong. Just a nice apple scent. Nothing else in there. No spice. Nothing like that. It was strong. Really, really enjoyed that. Okay, I have a couple scoopables. One from Tiffany Candles that I used up was Pinkberry and Tonka Bean. And it looks like that. And this was really, really nice. Um, just a nice berry scent. I find with the scoopables, I don't get like a very long lasting throw from them, but that's fine. I had this going several different times in two warmers, both on my um, first floor. And it was really good, but it definitely like dissipates after about four hours, I would say. So I just change it out, which is fine because usually by then I'm ready for something different. Um, one from Scoopable Tart Wax that I finished up was Bergamot and Coriander. This is described as ozone fragrance featuring notes of bergamot, 
infused with coriander and florals. This, oh my gosh, I loved this. Loved it, loved it, loved it. To me, this was like a very clean, outdoorsy, really great scent. I love that. So glad that I tried it because I was kind of on the fence when I was picking. Um, but I loved that. And that was pretty strong. That was definitely got good throw from that. Oh, I missed one from Super Tart. I melted Tin Man, which is pink sugar, sweet lavender cream, and stainless steel. Um... I didn't like this. I don't like her lavender cream. I, it's just very like off-putting scent to me. Um, and that's really all I got from this. That's all I could smell when it was melting. So when I smell it on cold, you get like that stainless steel and maybe a tiny little bit of the um, pink sugar. But when it melted, all I got was lavender, the sweet lavender cream. And it's just, that's just a no for me. So that would not be a repurchase. Okay. From Lake Providence Lodge. I know she's no longer in business, but this is an absolute favorite of mine. I loved her rhubarb. Loved it. It is so strong um, that I honestly, like I cut this into thirds and I got... Hours upon hours upon hours of melts with that. And I mixed it with um, gourmet soy, the sugar and spice, the strawberry honeydew cake, which is so, oh my gosh, this is such a wonderful scent. So again, I cut this, I had this going in three warmers with this. Um, I mixed it and just, oh my gosh, such a fantastic, wonderful fruity, delicious scent. I loved that. Absolutely loved it. From BZ Tarts, I melted cotton candy frosting. And this was okay. Nothing. Whoops. Sorry about that. My house phone was ringing and I just have to be, usually I don't answer it, but we are on day five today of, um, a teacher walkout and <clears throat> there's a good chance that we'll be going back to school tomorrow but you know it's just kind of like by the hour so I'm just like waiting for updates and stuff like that so I needed to answer my phone in case it was a member from school calling to say that like yes classes will resume tomorrow because that is also where I am employed um, but it wasn't so anyway enough of that I think I finished up talking about those um, from that smell good shop. Oh my God. My most favorite is lavender dreams. And this was like an 18 pack or a 16 pack. Let me see. Four, eight, 12. This was 16. Oh my God. Guys, I just, I melt this solely in my bedroom and I can't even describe it to you. It is just the most comforting, amazing, wonderful scent that I am so sad that I am without it. Um, I need more like I wish I wish it came in like a big huge pan or something because it's just so great sometimes I put one in my warmer in my bedroom sometimes two but it does last for days and it's just try it I because I can't I really can't describe it um, from flaming star scents I melted all summer long which is fret blah, 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 blah. excuse me fresh cut grass and watermelon love this just a great summer mm. Um, you definitely get equal parts of the fresh cut grass and the watermelon. And it is just wonderful, strong throw, lasted a long time, really loved it. Uh, from that smell good shop again, I melted juicy pear, which is another favorite of mine. I love her pear scents. It's just such a juicy, and it is, it's called juicy pear. It really is. It's just a delicious, juicy pear. And when I open it and smell it, it's like, you, know, you want to take a bite into it. It just smells so good. And I think I have a couple more of those. From Swanky, I have sage and chamomile, which mm, I love this. Absolutely love it. And it's just a really nice, clean, strong a strong throwing scent. Um, equal parts of the sage and the chamomile. Love, love, love stuff from Swanky. I have never been disappointed by her stuff. 
Okay, I finished up a, I can't remember what was in here, if they were coins, because I cut everything up, but it's Some Like It Hot from Vintage Chic Scents, which is mango papaya and pineapple cream soda. Um, oh, this was good, but, you know, it's almost a year old. It was poured on June 8th. Um, so not super strong, but really a really nice scent. Um, we've been having really warm weather here. So like I've been melting summery stuff. Um, something else from the Smell Good Shop is, I don't even know how to pronounce it. I think it's pronounced Baradas. And I cannot describe the scent. I can't, and I should have looked up scent descriptions. But it's so good. Just like really, 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 really good. And I think I have more of that. From Hayden Bro, I melted a cranberry lime. Mmm, so good. The tartness of the cranberry and that citrus note from the lime, really, really good. I cut this into two. Um, just cut it in half and melted it into different warmers. And it was a really nice, powerful scent. And last, this was gifted to me. It's from Starry Skies. And it is... Hmm. Oh, here it is. Robin Sparkles. Let me see if I can read the scent description on that. It was just a scent shot cup. And that was lemon drops, cotton candy, and lemon sugar. This was really good. A very tart, 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 tart. Lemon didn't really get the cotton candy. I did say there was cotton candy in there, right? Yeah, did not really get the cotton candy, but um, love lemon scents. Really, really good. Oh, and another, oh, I have one left. From Waxmosphere, I melted strawberry banana buttercream. And this was really good. This came in like four big um, square chunks. And I didn't get a great throw, but I 100% blame myself because I think I put way too much wax. I should have cut those squares, those square chunks in half, and I did not, um, which I really should have because I think I just put too much in. Um, one that I did want to talk about hope that I've been melting but I did not finish is from Rose Girls, and it's 29 Olive Street. Oh my God, where has this been all my life? I've melted quite a bit of it. This is amazing. This, I think it's described as like the scents that you get when you walk into a Lush store. Oh my God, and that is exactly what this is. This is so amazing. I melt this in my bathrooms. And let me tell you, this stuff is a beast. Like I put, I just have a very small like nightlight-ish warmer that goes into the wall. And depending on the sizes of the pieces, like the pieces, they're pretty much all the same size. Well, I'll give you a, I'll show you what I mean. So like, that's the size of it. But then there's also some that are like halved. So I'll either put like a whole one like this size or like two, if I can find two of these size ones in my warmer. I, and I mean days, days and days, this lasts. Um, so I've been using it in all three bathrooms and it's just such a great smell that when we've had, like people use the bathroom or downstairs bathroom, like the kids' friends or, you know, other adults that come over, they are like, oh my God, whatever that scent is in your bathroom, it smells so good. Sometimes they think it's the soap that's in there. But it's this stuff, and I definitely want more of this. It is so, so good. I have other stuff from Rose Girls, um, and I didn't do a haul because I think I only bought like seven bags or whatever, but you'll be seeing this, you know, the stuff that I've been melting. Um, I'm going to try not to just do empties and to actually share other things that I'm melting. But anyway, that's all that I have for today, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.